happy to have that one video game in your life that grabbed your heart and never let go. And by that I mean I fell in love with Mass Effect when I was a teenager and it has sort of grown into an unhealthy obsession. At this point I've been just collecting N7 stuff wherever I can. I mean I have an N7 hoodie, N7 leggings, N7 dresses and then you get you get the idea. How the hell did I manage to not make any N7 cosplay? How the hell did I manage to not make any N7 cosplay to this date? Well, kids, that's because of my crippling fear of failure. But considering how much of a shit show 2020 was, what could possibly go wrong? I thought to myself starting this project randomly at 3 am on a weeknight. I've done ED before and I'm working on Miranda, so I guess it's time to become a shepherd for real and not just in my wild imagination. If you want to become a commander shepherd like me, there are a ton of options out there. There are 3D files if you want to print it, there are Pepakura files if you want to skip the patterning. I am now presenting you the bullshit way of making stuff, which is how I make all my cosplays to be honest, but For the base of my chest armor, I decided to use one of Kamui's patterns, space boobs as I like to call them. I genuinely love Kamui's patterns because they're so versatile and easy to use, they make a perfect base to build on top of. But since my my chest style region is of a 12 year old boy, I always print out my patterns and glue them together in paper form to check if they fit me and I highly recommend you do the same. I, I mean... Let me just show you. This mannequin is extra small and this is the finished breastplate and it like barely fits. Before I glue the pieces together, I like to put some heat to them and shape them on any round surface I have laying around. It takes the stress off of the glue a bit and makes the finished piece look smaller. I don't know, this is just what I learned pulling all-nighters, tearing my armor apart because it looked wonky and I didn't know why. The backplate is all important, shiny and stuff, I couldn't put the closure there like I'm used to. Instead I drafted a pattern for the base of the back and tried it on, entering the foreign and dangerous zone of side closures. This was just the first try on to make sure the sizing is alright, this piece and the shape of it didn't even matter that much in the end. And here's the moment I was convinced the backplate looked off and I had to fix it by cutting it in the middle and making some weird pattern. I honestly don't know. Sometimes these moments of doubt randomly come to me and whenever I act on them I always mess things up. Thankfully I gave up on this idea and decided to make the attachments next. And I found a fellow commander that showed off how she made the attachments and I thought it was very smart. Much smarter than what I was thinking about. So I decided to use it. Then I found some more helpful patterns and sketches online. Even though I mostly use it for the color and ended up sketching rest of the things myself, they were very useful in terms of size and just giving me the basic idea of how the elements in the back look. For the color, I checked my paper pattern for scale first and I forgot to press record, as usual. Then I stacked two layers of 5mm foam because I was running low on 10mm foam and I needed the color to be a thick, thick boy. to retain its bent shape and heat gun wasn't really enough. So I temporarily glued both the edges together as I was heating it up and then I glued a 3mm layer of foam 
to the inside of it. If you glue a piece of foam underneath the bent piece, it will retain its shape better. I don't know why, the science I guess. I've also added these buckles to both the collar and breastplate, so it stays up and perky. Anyway, I glued the collar to the backplate, checking on myself first if it looked okay. Honestly, whenever I work, I'm constantly afraid I fucked something up, so I kid you not, I put this on every hour, just to make sure. After I acquired the peace of mind of knowing color looks okay, I moved on to the trim on the bottom. And the neck guard? I, I don't know, the, this thing. To make it not lay flat against my chest, I cut the bottom seam at an angle and then I used a heat gun to bend it in shape. Ah yes, back plate. The absolute pain in the air. You see, I spent some time trying to figure out how to put the leads inside and I came up with an idea, but I had to do it all now and I couldn't just add them on later. First, I sketched these patterns and decided they look okay enough for me to work with and transferred onto foam. Then I pinned my flat foam shapes in place and started mapping out my LED strips. You see, I decided to use NeoPixel strips for this job. Is this the best or most efficient way of lighting up these simple free panels? Probably not, but I'm a cheap person and I bought them long time ago for my Mara Jade lightsaber and I wanted to put them to good use instead of just buying some other lights. Also, I wanted animations, because I'm a hoe for LED animations. Now, buckle up, folks, this is my thinking. I will connect the lights in one big strip that will then connect to the microcontroller, switch and the battery that will all be hidden here. Now, please enjoy a very aesthetic montage of me soldering the LEDs together and making it work. And ignore the fact that it took me straight up three days of soldering till 6 a.m. every night, because I am fucking terrible at this and I kept messing it up. Say it like you mean. And here, how it looks in the end. So easy, so fun and so quick. I covered the LEDs with Illumi foam and other details with 3mm regular foam. The battery pack barely fit inside, but thanks to these holes I can gently push the battery out and remove it whenever I need to. I've programmed an animation I got from Arduino website, just modified the colors because I wanted them reddish, not blue. And that's about as far as programming lessons from high school can get me which is not that far. Fun fact, I was so tired and happy like on this day 3 where it finally worked that I left this glue gun plugged in for 3 days and forgot about it. I'm still surprised I didn't burn down the house, honestly, and I hope my boyfriend never finds out. <laughs> Back to the breastplate. I used my Dremel and sanding paper to sand down my boobs smooth. That's what she said. They're still not as smooth as I would like them to be, but I ran out of sanding paper to fix it, so for now it is what it is. You see, Shepard has these lines in her armor, and I was absolutely terrified because I knew they had to be clean and precise. I sketched them out and took the sharpest blade I own, and um, are they precise or clean? Well, that's debatable, but I think they'll do, and I can fix them at the very end of making this cosplay with more sandpaper and drama. I had two attempts at making the food baby girl. I sketched out the pattern and made the first one with premium foam for each layer and then tossed it to trash because it was way too thick. I then used 2mm foam for each layer of the foam belly girl. Oh, because it's like layers. I, I think I didn't mention that before, so I'll just put the pattern here. I also cut out the 45 degree lines she has just like on her booby cups, one layer at a time, making sure they match. I almost forgot these details in front, so I went back and cut shallow lines in there, heated it up and pressed them to make the vid. Oh boy, I'm not the best fun with explaining. 
For the back belly guard, the shape was quite similar. I also made the base with 2 mm foam for each layer, and here's how the layers look. Now for the little elements in there, I sketched out my first one and then copied the shape, making it slightly smaller. This is how my papers look in the end, and then I traced them on 3 mm foam layers. Now the last detail on this, the N7 logo. Scaled it to match my breastplate side and cut out like a stencil of it, not the letters itself, so it would be easier to handle. Oh, and I also forgot to record it, but I put my stencil on breastplate before gluing. Traced the shapes on breastplate itself, so I knew where to put my logo. And since I forgot to show you before, here's how I attach the guards to the breastplate and backplate. I would use elastic for this, cause the foam straps will break probably whenever I move. But I didn't have any, so that's to be fixed later on, I guess. Oh, and they joined together in my crotch. Using Velcro. That's a very weird sentence to say.